Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Construction Simulator 2015 Let's Play series. Yes, it's been a while since uh, you guys seen anything of this game, but uh, there were quite a few uh, new things. For so one thing, um, as you might notice during the gameplay, is uh, they fixed a lot of the micro stutters and whatnot. Um, and the overall performance is better by far. And uh, there is quite a bit of new uh, new machines that you can have. One of them you can see here, and that is this. Uh, well, it's it's a it's a low boy for sure, but it's a low boy with a booster. And uh, actually, how do they call that thing here? Let me see. It is. A heavy duty trailer. And as you can see, that thing has a ton of axles, which uh, you need if you have heavy loads and you want to distribute the weight, then uh, you need a lot of axles because the weight is distributed equally. And so the total axle weight goes down. And it's interesting to drive this thing, for sure. As we are going now to the home base you can see how the wheels are turning and if this was a uh, multiplayer then you can see over there in the yard there is actually a vehicle uh, a pilot uh, vehicle a pilot truck or a pilot van I guess So, having said that, let's bring this monster to the home base. Uh, see, and this would have been avoided if I had a pilot vehicle or two. Hmm. Collision box for the win. Can you please not follow me if I try to get out of your way? Too much to ask. Actually, what we should do, come to think of it, is go back to the dealership and pick up another piece of new equipment that they have now. And that is... Um... Yeah, let's do this. We're gonna go back. All right, made that turn. Oh, um, about that. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Oh, this is hard on the wheels. No, oh, see, we made it without touching the other vehicle even. But uh, yeah, another thing that changed, as you can see here, is that you actually have now displays for, uh, well, as you can see, for the, um, <clears throat> no, for the beacon as well as for the turn signals. Small things like that is, uh, I think, that defines whether you deal with a simulator or not. Okay. So once we are back here at the dealership, we're gonna buy the next piece of equipment what, which comes with this latest DLC. I kinda slacked off to be honest with you guys, or I kinda missed the 
the first DLC that came out. Well, I did get the DLC, but I never made a video of it, which, yeah, I guess was my mistake. Um, but I won't make that mistake again. Now, this turn here is going to be interesting. See, this is really where it would pay off to have a spotter vehicle or an escort vehicle or, as it is called over here, a pilot car. Alright. Let's quickly jump out. And buy more stuff. So we have the escort vehicle, that's wonderful. The rotary drilling rig. Yes, 200,000. Ouch. Okay, back to the rig we go. And we're gonna get ready here to load it and ship it over to our uh, home base. And, you know, people, and it's funny because uh, Mrs. Northern Alex and I were talking about earlier, it's, it's hard to explain to somebody what's the, what is the, um, well, the, the appeal, I guess, for some, well, it's hard to explain it to some people, what the appeal is uh, playing simulators, because technically, yeah, you are simulating labors tasks like driving an excavator sounds not much fun but if you like simulators then that's a lot of fun plus as I pointed out to my missus the chances that I'm ever gonna drive a drilling rig nah, pretty much slim to none thus okay this is not gonna work I guess we have to go in the outside view. And that's the fun, right? That's definitely the fun part about it. And it's really, really nice to see that this game... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's not gonna work. Um, but that there's still DLC coming out and that they keep the game by doing that fresh and new. Yeah, about that. Dum de dum de dum. Still not good enough. Come on, you can do it. I think now we have fairly center. Yes, we are. Wonderful. Now I have to figure out how to lower the rig because I can hardly transport it like this. Oh, this is the rig going up and down. I think. Or turning. What are we doing here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, there we go.
There, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Oh my goodness, this thing is long. There. Wow. Now this is going to be interesting to transport. I am not sure if that all fits, but well, we'll see. If it fits, it sits, right? Oh, this is going to be fun. I might actually need to use the the manual wheel. Uh, well, if you look at the trailer, you can actually use the wheels manually. good enough. And what you hear in the background here, that's just Ness walking right past the computer a couple of times, so... No need to be concerned. It's not part of the game. Oh man, yeah, I'm putting this consist, uh, consist, yeah, it's almost like a train, all right. Putting this thing back together is fun. Alrighty. Let's see if we can put this all together. Oh my. Ah, uh, as they say, you gotta spend money to make money. Cargo needs to be secured. Why didn't I secure the cargo? Okay, let's secure the cargo then. I don't wanna attach cargo. Oh yeah, we tie the whole works down. Makes sense. Alright. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, this is pushing hard on the truck. Okay, there is no no rushing this around. Okay, since we are here, anyway, let's do the tutorial mission. Because why not? Let's start with that one. Alright. We can do that. 
enter the escort vehicle. Mm, let's do that then. Today I'm going to show you the Schleicher Escort Vehicle for heavy transport. This vehicle warns and blocks traffic so your heavy transport will have more space on the road. You can protect friends' transport and friends can help you on your way to the next construction site. Now nothing stands in the way of large transports. Is there anything else I need to know? There's one more thing. You can attach an additional warning sign on the roof of the Escort. Okay. So let's extend the VMS then. Okay, well, that was a very, a very, um, hard to do tutorial. Yay, look at this. We did it. One more tutorial that we got there. Okay, now, next tutorial. Next tutorial. Heavy load trailer. Drive heavy in a marked area. Accept. Let's do this. Oh look, it still has my rig on it too. Perfect. Alright. Oh, how to use the trailer for heavy loads. We wouldn't want it to get boring. In order to load these trailers, you need to decouple the front part. We will get to that soon, but first you should get used to steering it. You are right, you'll notice that the trailer steers with you in curves in order to help maneuver around obstacles. You can also manually control the axles of the trailer, try it out, and take a drive around the vehicle's dealer premises. When you are finished, you should park the trailer in the area marked with pylons. Do you know how to couple the trailer? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's really not a problem. All right, let's do this. Huh? What? All right, so let's hook up to this monster. There. Oh, take a drive around places, park between the piles in order to continue. Oh, nice. Yeah, you have to really have to be a little bit sensible about what you're doing when you drive this. Oh, it wants probably wants me to go between those. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do that on the way back. Because, yeah, this is about the width of the normal road. See, and this is now where we usually, it would be too tight for the trailer to come around. So what we're gonna do in that case is... Have the whole trailer come around there. as easy as it looks. Oh, 
Okay, well, I guess we did it. Even though there was a little bit of a cheat there. I have to admit that. Okay. Now. Back her on up. Oh, will you please stop? There we go. I love the fact that this is all simulated though. Like, I cannot lie. Because... Well, who gets to drive these things in real life? Harder than I thought it would be. There we go. Alright. Okay. We disconnected that, and that you see in the beginning. And now we connect again. What? It wants me to. Oh boy. Alright, I guess. That is my own fault. Yeah, for that to happen, I have to unload the rig. Okay then, that was my own fault for jumping to conclusions. There we go. And guys, this is by no means the last DLC. I heard of a couple more things that are coming down the line, but... Uh, 
can tell you that much. This game is keeps getting more interesting. Okay, now to load this huge excavator. <laughs> That's going to be very challenging after what we just unloaded. No, I don't want to dig. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you can see that was really challenging. Times 10. Let's then secure the load. Chain it all down. Back in our rig. And back the whole works up. Easy enough, right? Just like that. Connect the whole works. And off we go. And now last but not least. Done. Last but not least we're gonna quickly do the... Drilling rig tutorial. <laughs> 